kilometers from Tlexdorp where the funeral of a man that has been described as a legend, Philemon Masinga, is currently underway. I mean, behind me, these two big marquees are full. We've seen high-powered delegation from South African Football Association, SAFA, led by its president, Dr. Denny Jordan. We spotted also Premier Soccer League uh, delegation, NEC members, including Dr. Ivan Koza. Many more current and former players are also here to pay tribute to the man uh, that has played a pivotal role in the development of South African football. I mean, you'd remember his goal against Congo where it sent South Africa to a first World Cup in 1998. Rather than that, he was part of the class of 1996 that won the first Africa Cup of Nations. But with me here, I'm going to catch up with his twin striker at the time, Mark Williams, to tell us more about the man that we are to lay to rest today, the man that play a pivotal role. I mean, earlier, Mark, you were telling me about the character of the man. He was booed earlier uh, by some of the supporters when he was not playing well, but he rose above the occasion. Yeah, well, um, you know, today I want to remember, you know, I want to celebrate him. You know, there is a bit of sad moments that uh, we have to go through because of the loss of a legend. But all I can say, he was a true professional. He was a family man. And, you know, sometimes that is things you can't buy. You know, for me, um, playing with him, it, it was an honor playing with him because when I went to Cosmos, one of the reasons why I came to Joburg was to compete with Phil Masinga because I know he was one of the best strikers. So for me, you know, having that 96, that memories, that glory days that we had, and, you know, through the years, you know, he was always saying, Mark, you know what, I'm going on there and always gave 100%. And I could see the family talking about a father, a lion, a giant they lost today. But what they say, they want him to remember as a celebration today. So I'm here just to celebrate. The, the, the life that I had with Phil Masinga, it was great. Um, a guy that always wanted to give. You know, uh, people didn't understand him, but you know, the times that we had, he always makes sure that you are first, and that I have to salute Phil for spending the quality time with me. Tell me what went through your mind, through um, your team at the time when he scored that pivotal role, that goal that sent South Africa to um, a first World Cup in 1997, I mean 1998. You know, I mean, I was sitting at FMB, and I must say the supporters was there. But you know, we, you, you know, you can feel it actually. But he looked up his head, and when you looked again, you know, you hear that top corner. But you know, we couldn't believe it. We we're like, what? What a goal! And I think you know that is the highlight of his career. And it just would have been nice if people from South Africa could have expect, uh, respected that from him, a true professional. But I have to say, um, doing that on the day. He had big temp uh, temperament for the game and for the love of the game. You don't get a lot of professionals like Phil Masinga. And that's the reason why he left legacies, not in his own country, but in other countries. Mark, great talking to you. Condolences again. Thank you very much. That was his former twin striker, Mark Williams. I mean, he was talking about that moment uh, when Phil Masinga scored a goal that sent South Africa to a first World Cup in 1997. In fact, he scored that goal in 1997 and the showpiece was held in 1998. Lucas, thank you very much indeed for that update and may soul rest in peace. Okay, let's take you now live to Parktown, Johannesburg, where the inquiry...